Hello guys, this is Dasha from Russia. I've just finished filming you a video with the signature makeup of Russian movie star Anna Samokhina. So if you like my look and you are interested how I got there, just keep on watching. So guys, I'm gonna start with foundation. I actually hardly ever wear foundation in the real life because I absolutely hate the feeling that my face is covered with something and uh, I often want to wipe it out and by the way, as long as it's cold and it's winter in Russia, um, I often wear sweaters, turtlenecks and you know, it's so inconvenient and comfortable to have um, all this clothing rubbing um, on your neck and after that you take off your turtleneck or whatever and you see all those traces of foundation. I fucking hate it. But when I have to go with a heavy makeup, of course, I pick some other pieces of clothing like this so with a V cut or I don't know. Okay, I'm taking Bourgeois Healthy Mix in shade, I don't know what shade it is, 51 Light Vanilla and I'm gonna apply it now. I'm gonna start with a little amount of it, but maybe I'm gonna go for a bigger amount. Maybe I'll take the brush first. Okay. One of my favorite foundations is um, Christian Dior. I don't remember exactly how it's called, not backstage, uh, but the one in the um, square um, package. I used to have it, but I don't own it anymore as I gave it to one of my girlfriends uh, so that she could give it a try. And you know what? She uh, simply kept it and would never return it to me. And she's not my girlfriend anymore, by the way. Not just because of the foundation, but... You know, the devil is in the details. And a little bit of my neck I will add. You know, I don't know, maybe I have to add something more, but now I realize that I did not put any concealer under my eyes, but I will have to do it. So, I picked uh, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser in the shade number uh, 1, light. I'm gonna go under my eyes, but uh, I will try not to... Um, not to what? <laughs> not to be too hard and too heavy on it. Okay, now I'm going with my Beauty Blender. Next I'm gonna take my powder and this is Pupa Loose Powder in the shade uh, number two. It's a little bit too dark for me because my skin is very, very light, <clears throat> but nevertheless, um, I choose it uh, when I want to uh, put some um, eyeshadow, and it's uh, like a base, it works really great for eyeshadow. You know, <clears throat> I noticed one uh, very funny thing. It's so hilarious when I watched my videos in English, I think that what the hell. I don't have, in the real life, I don't have such a dreadful Russian accent. But when I watch my videos, I actually have this dreadful accent. And I cannot work it out why it is so. As long as I turn on the camera and um, my all, all of my speaking and pronunciation skills simply evaporate somewhere. I don't know why. I have a um, Mac eyeshadow, it's called Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade <clears throat> Painterly it's uh, just like nude, beige, I don't know and it uh, 
it was suggested for me by Mac um, assistant, shopping assistant, as a primer for eyeshadows. Because I have such an extremely oily skill, uh, skill, oh my god, skin, that um, at the end of the day, my eyeshadows would simply uh, be a dirty blend of something, but not the thing that I supposed them to be, that were supposed to be. Okay, I'm gonna try to apply this, I don't know how it's called, paint pot. This base for my eyeshadows. By the way, guys, I used to have my eyebrows really thinner than I do have them now. But <laughs> my mom used to tell me that it would be better for me to have my eyebrows natural because um, I'm just like the type of natural dramatic type of appearance. And, you know, after 15 or 20 years, I realized that she was right. I think that wisdom comes with age, but sometimes the age comes alone. And by the way, I'm gonna do eyeliner. Guys, I used to love eyeliners, I mean the liquid eyeliners. I, I would wear them every day because this is some kind of my signature makeup look with the black eyeliner. But um, several years ago I came across um, this pencil, eye pencil, uh, Contour Clubbing Waterproof by Bourgeois. And you know, I really love it. I love um, how it sets on my eyelids and... Um, as I have this um, creases, you know, not open eyelids. I don't remember how it in, in how it is in English. You will probably put it in the comments. Uh, that is why <clears throat> I would have because of the liquid eyeliner at, in the end of the day and even in the middle of the day. If I had a very active day, I would move a lot. I would uh, be fidgeting all the time. Um, I would have the printed mark of this eyeliner and with that uh, such shit never happens so I'm gonna start with the uh, inner corner of my eye and then go right here oh, my kitty is lying here hello Kuzia hi oh my god you're so sweet I'm not gonna change um, the look, the shape of my eye. I'm just gonna follow natural light. You know, um, most of the people would say that it's really convenient and comfortable to um, fix your um, eyeliner and make it prop and make it look in the proper way with the earbud. But I think that the best uh, tool is my own hand, my fingers, and my nails, and I can sharpen the line in, in the end of, in the outer corner with my just finger and nail. I'm gonna go under my eye and um, draw a line which would become more and more ambiguous till the middle, till here, till the middle of my lower eyelid. All right. You know, guys, if your eyes are just like mine, I mean, they're not huge, but they still are really defined and expressive, you should not go further than this, than the middle, and even a little bit earlier than the middle, maybe one third. I've picked uh, this small palette, uh, palette, palette, yeah, I mispronounced this all the time. Uh, this is a uh, smoky stories from bourgeois in shade six upside brown And I'm gonna use um, I don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna use uh, the lower shade the darker and uh, this one golden By the way guys, I love the smell of this palette <clears throat> It's not palette. Maybe it's just a kit for smoky eyes. I'm gonna pick 
and blending brush. Here it is. I have a very, very old set of um, cosmetic brushes by Mary Kay. It was given me as a present uh, by my mom a long time ago. And, you know, I really love it. The quality is quite good. So, why choose something else? I'm gonna go uh, in my crease and a little bit um, higher than this. And I'm gonna go in my crease on the left eyelid. I think I'm gonna pick another blending brush and blend it more thoroughly. Next I'm gonna try to put some uh, eyeshadow under my eyes but uh, be very careful so that I uh, won't <laughs> trespass this line where I stopped right here in the middle of my lower eyelid. I'm gonna pick this shade a little bit lighter and I'm taking the brush uh, with sharp edge You know, guys, I really love the actress uh, whose makeup I'm trying to recreate. I think that she is, she was, because she's already deceased, unfortunately, one of the most beautiful women of uh, the former USSR and of Russia as well. And she was all natural. She was popular and uh, she was acknowledged. Um, long before that uh, lip fillers, face fillers era. And I think that uh, the natural beauty is really underrated these days. I think that back in the days <laughs> beauty was more honest. If you were beautiful, you were beautiful. Now what I'm doing, uh, I forgot to comment it. I'm taking this shade and uh, do it in the middle of my eyelid and in the beginning and I'm gonna blend it maybe I should take another brush I don't know this one is from Aliexpress it's absolutely no name brush but I really love it I really love the quality and I think that it works really good by the way guys <laughs> I found here in Russia a perfect way to um, brush my brows and keep them in order. You know, uh, what? what is this? This is um, a very old school mascara, uh, which uh, was, which, it's it's been produced since the times of Soviet Union, I don't know, maybe after the uh, Great Patriotic War they started to produce it, or maybe earlier, I don't remember but it is still being produced and the brush uh, which goes here is 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 an absolute crap for um applying the mascara look how it looks just you add a little bit of water and <laughs> just um i don't know mix it with water and then go and apply the mascara you know it gives such a luxurious look it, Maybe I'll probably show you one day some picture where um, I had my makeup on with this um, with this very um, mascara, and <clears throat> this looks amazing. <laughs> but um, it contains soap, and as long as it gets a small piece of this mascara gets into your eye, you will be 
it, it will fucking destroy everything. You will have to go uh, to the bathroom or public uh, lavatory and wipe off all your makeup because your eyes w will be so irritated. <laughs> and the brush which goes with it is a, is a crap for applying the mascara, but it's so amazing for your eyebrows. Just look how it uh, keeps... How, how it does its job. Oh my god, it's amazing. I um, actually dye my eyebrows and I dyed uh, my hair and eyebrows as well several days ago. That is why I don't have to um, add something from for, for my eyebrows. Uh, I simply love the way they are. But uh, if I did, uh, I would use Brow Artist Genius Kit by L'Oreal in what shade? Oh my god, I don't know in what shade, but it looks like that. I ripped off the part of the sticker, that's why I cannot figure out. Next step will be mascara or, or not. Yes, of course, mascara. Uh, and I'm gonna pick today 2000 calories by Max Factor. This is one of the best mascaras ever. You know, uh, I'm not a very um, high demanding person in that sense because uh, any mascara, almost any mascara, will make uh, my eyes pop out and look great. But uh, if I need something uh, versatile, I use this and it really works very well. I also have the mascara by L'Oreal Telescopic and it's really good but when it dries a little bit down as long as it's, uh, it's brand new uh, you'll have to adjust to it uh, adjust it because um, it makes your <coughs> eyelashes sticky and uh, it makes them look as if you had uh, a little. <laughs> if you had little eyelashes. Hmm. Guys, I'm gonna add some telescopic mascara because I think that um, my eyelashes look a little bit discreet for that kind of makeup. Now I'm satisfied with the way my eyelashes look and now I'm gonna go for for blush. So guys, I wiped out all the marks, but this is um, Bourjois blush in the shade 33. I'm gonna show it to you. By the way, I love the brush which comes with the product and all the Bourjois products, almost all of them are amazing. Do you know why? Maybe you don't know this fact, but um, once I found out maybe 10 years ago that Chanel and Bourjois are the same products, but uh, Chanel is high-end and uh, Bourjois is more like a middle market. I don't know. So I'm gonna pick this brush for a blusher. You know, this one suits the best for um, doing my cheekbones, for doing the blush job. The blush job. Mm -hmm. You know, when I uh, look at myself uh, in the mirror mm -hmm. and it seems to me that uh, my blush is already so vivid, it stands out, but when I look uh, in the final video, mm -hmm. I start editing the uh, final video, and I see that it's so discreet, and I uh, think that, oh, my god, I could have added more product here and there. Mm. What am I gonna do next? I'm gonna... Guys, I don't do baking powder, as you see. Because during the Soviet times, no one would do this job, actually. That is why I want it to look more like uh, vintage and less um, pretentious. I wanted to, uh, not to have that um, Instagram girl's wipe. 
uh, like it has these days. Uh, that is why uh, to keep the vintage vibe I'm gonna refuse of baking powder. And what am I gonna do next? I don't know what kind of base lipstick to choose. I'm gonna go either for this. This is Bourgeois Rouge Velvet, Rouge Edition Velvet, number four, Peach Club. And if I don't like it, I simply wipe it out. But I'm. I also wanted to try this. This is more like nude, but I'm gonna go um, for uh, one more coat with uh, lip. With lip, how it's called? Lip, lip gloss. I'm gonna choose this. This is Belarus. This is Belarusian cosmetics. It's called Lux Visage, and it's amazing. It's one of the most amazing quality of makeup uh, in the whole market. It's much better than most of the high end I tried. So I'm applying this. It's just you know uh, this color is just like um, pinky beige, peachy beige. My lips don't have any lip fillers and you know back in the days when I was just like 17 or so uh, I heard that my groupmates and I had almost all the groupmates girls because we would have that girl girlish profession and girlish department of psychology only only girls and uh, my friend who was also my groupmate, told me that they were talking shit about me. Oh my god! Dasha's lips is like uh, the lips. Uh, Dasha has the lips like Angelina Jolie. Oh no! Angelina Jolie's lips are better. Ha 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 ha! Can you hear it? <laughs> he oh, he expresses his resentment towards it. And it was so funny because back in the days in southern all too. When I just entered the university, uh, I I would n I would not hear about the, the the fact that someone did their lips or something, and I was accused of that so many times. But nowadays, uh, compared to what Instagram girls have, my lips look so discreet. That I, I don't know who can accuse me of doing the lip job. By the way, I'm gonna tell you in one of my videos <laughs> a very funny story um, about my lips and uh, the way people treat them and ask me stupid questions. I did not show you uh, the shade. This is Pin Up Ultra Matte Lipstick. And it's in the shade 28, Lux Visage. If you find it, just go and buy it. It's amazing. And uh, the top uh, lip gloss, which I use because Anna Samokhina had that vibe of layering lipsticks. And I think that she had some kind of such a um, pinky sparkling shade uh, of her liquid lipstick or lip gloss is Evelyn Cosmetics and it's in the shade 612 I absolutely love the result I think that it's a little bit messy but uh, this kind of messy thing gives some Again, some natural vibe. And I'm gonna uh, pin my hair right here behind my ear. And it will give me a more romantic vibe. So guys, I think I'm ready. How do you like the makeup? I think it's absolutely amazing. And I hope um, you enjoyed the video and chit chat with me. I would be infinitely glad if you subscribe to my channel, like this video, put me a comment in comments below and 
turn on the notification bell. Love you guys so much. See you in my next video.